Hey, this is Till Man. Today we're looking at the Bixalon label printer. So let's open this up, see if we can get it working. What's in the box? So we've got a little instruction-y sheet thing, power cable, USB cable included which is good quite often they're not in printers these days which can be a bit of a headache and here we've got the printer itself and the power adapter okay let's get it out of its plastic And we'll get it plugged into the adapter. So we have a look on the back here. Very simple. One for the power. And one for the USB cable. We'll just plug that in. Get some power onto it. Okay, move these little orange levers forward and the lid just lifts up. We can take that out of there. Very easy to put a label in. It's just got these plastic rollers here that hold everything together. I'm going to put a courier label in. This is a 102 by 175 mil. This is the standard courier label for Zebra and similar printers in New Zealand. Make sure it just goes under those two little plastic bits there. Okay, turn the power on. Switch on the back, back corner. And wait for it to go green and we'll just press the feed key press the feed key again ah that's better so it feeds out a few while it figures out what the gap thickness is and things like that and when it does that we should be good to go every time you press the arrow now it should just feed one label out and that means it's all detected and working as it should be so now we can lift the top up Roll all those labels back in because they're expensive and you don't want to waste them. Push the lid back down, press the feed button and that's it, we're good to go. Okay, let's get some drivers installed for this printer. You're going to want to open a web browser like this, Google Chrome or Safari, whatever you're using, and you need to go to bixalon.com. Type that in the address bar up the top, and then hit enter. We're in Asia Pacific, and we're speaking English. Uh, we can close this. This is just saying about some issues after windows updates we don't have to worry about that we'll go to supports and downloads and then hit on downloads now the printer we want is a 3-40 and it's the xd 340d d for direct print as opposed to a thermal transfer print and we're going to want to go to drivers here so scroll down and we'll just take the latest one, which is 30th of March. So you tick the box there and then scroll down a bit further. Click the download, scroll down, accept and download. And we should see the file start downloading at the bottom here. Once that's finished, you can click on it and it will 
open a window like that and we're going to double click on that and then double click on that it wants us to extract them first so we'll just click extract all and we'll let it put it there in the documents uh, it's asking us to replace the files because I've already done this before but you probably won't see that window double click it now and yes we do want to allow it to make changes and then we're just going to go next it says what already exists because I've already done it but you won't see that so we'll just go yes there we'll go next and we're going to install the printer driver and it's on the USB port now before we hit the USB port there you'll want to actually plug it in so get your cable for the USB port and plug that in can't really see it properly from this angle I think it's that one there we go and then we're going to click USB port Now because I've already done this before, it might not be happy. Your one should generally be quicker than this. Uh, what I'm going to do is disconnect it and then reconnect it again. There we go. And then we get, check the port name, make sure it's USB and then a number after it. And then you can just go install. It says it's already installed, but we'll update the printer driver. And you should be looking for it to have a green succeeded there. And that means our printer should be installed now. So if we go down to the bottom corner here and click on the Windows thingy, and then into settings, go to devices and then printers and scanners and we should see the Bixelon printer there which is all good so we're going to need to set up the stocks is the important thing so we're going to click manage on there and then printing preferences and you'll see here a stocks tab now this is where we set the different labels that we're going to be using so we'll go new and the first one we're oh sorry about that first one we're doing is barcode oh see it's in inches that's no good so we'll go back a step click on options and make it millimeters otherwise you need to convert it yourself so go apply and then you can go back to stocks and new again and barcode and our barcode is 51 millimeters wide by 25 millimeters high so we'll go okay there we're going to create another new one and this is for our courier labels we're going to call this courier and our courier labels are 102 millimeters wide and they are 175 long or height gonna apply that and then go okay close that one now when you are using your courier printing program it will produce a PDF which is what we want to print so all of them do the same go sweet spot eship all the common New Zealand ones um, let's see if I've got one here in downloads there we go so it'll produce a PDF which looks like this and you just open it in Google Chrome or whatever you're using and then you can go print here now you want to check that the destination is the Bixelon XD3-40D and you want to set the paper size to the one you created so in our case we want courier because we've got the courier labels in 
Scale fit to printable area should work. You're looking for the label to have not a lot. There's a little white line there, but this is pretty close to fitting on the label size that we've got. So that's what we want to see. And we're just going to go print now. Hey, hey. And that's what we're looking for. There's your courier label. The first thing we need to do is swap these labels over. So we've currently got the courier labels in. Take those out. Slot in the barcode labels. Make sure they go underneath the orange bits there. Close it down. Press the feed button. Make sure it's just doing one label each time you press the button. Wind those back in. Okay, then we're ready to print. What we need to do is go into your printer management, so click on the little Windows icon on the bottom, settings, devices, printers and scanners, choose the Bixelon and manage that, go into printing preferences, and you need to change this to landscape, so when you're doing courier labels it's in portrait, and when you're doing barcode labels that needs to be set onto landscape so apply and OK close that open your Shopify and go to apps click on your retail barcode labels app to open that you're going to need to create a template so we'll click on create template and you're going to choose the zebra 51 by 25 mil there and over on the right hand side here, you can choose what you want to display on the label. So I don't want the SKU, I'm going to untick that. And you'll see then it's gone from the label template. Now give it a name, I'm just going to call this one 5125. And click on create template. It tells us it's, cr uh, it's created and you can now print barcode labels with the 5125 template so we're going to go print labels see if that works you can search for your products or just tick the product you want I'm going to add that the template I want is the 5125 we just created how many labels we want I'm going to do three labels and then click the print make sure your destination is the Bixelon you're going to want to make sure your paper size is set to barcode and not courier. Fit to printable area. It should look good on these here. On the preview and then click print. There we go. There's our barcode labels ready to stick on the product. Thanks for watching. Got any questions? Get in touch.